Hi guys, this time I'd like to show how to create an engagement drawing with a stone on the shank. Ring side six and a half. Center stone round. Six and a half millimeter. Offset curve six point five millimeter. Bring center stone match with six and a half millimeter height. It will be the height of the engagement ring. Click the circle, making one point three millimeter circle under the center stone. Revealed. Give it give a point twelve. Show control point. Edit curve. This curve has to be a little bit inner than center stone because once finished the product, the customer does not want to see the matter from the top view. So making hair smaller than center stone. Start phase two, revolve. Offset curve two millimeter and one point two millimeter. Move zero point two millimeter up. Go to rebuild. Change the number of the point as twenty. Show control point. Bring point up to match with on the basket. Copy the inside circle, Control C, Control V. Same. Revealed. Show the control point. Adjust point location and create nice curvature of the shank. This part is the key. Shank has to be a little bit thinner at the top and the middle section a little bit wider and getting thinner at the bottom. Go to the side view. Turn on object snap, circle, two point. Create circle at the bottom of the ring. The circle is 1.8 millimeter. Click the revealed. Change the number of point as 16. Show control point. Scale 1D. Edit. Top and bottom. The bottom has to be more flatter than the top because I have to set stones on the shank. Change the width of the shank. So I like to set 1.5 millimeter stone. So total width of the shank has to be 2.4 millimeter. Go to straight line, create a line from middle point, offset 1.2 millimeter each side 
so you can see this is 2.4 millimeter so click the object scale up match the 2.4 millimeter show the control point scale 1d again stretch a little bit more and more use two sweep rail go to surface sweep two rails click click the profile enter so it will show the shape make sure click the maintain heights press ok let me just bring a little bit up go to curve straight line extrude and mirror the other side cut and select top so we have this profile at the bottom one use this bottom profile ctrl c ctrl v make a little bit narrower show the control point move 0 0.6 millimeter and go to surface revolve from the center 360 we have a bottom structure straight line extrude meter blend difference this part we don't need it delete it so this time I will show you the classic looking we need the bottom structure here go to circle 1.2 millimeter rebuild curve 12 make a shape revolve so we have on the base here go to transform click make sure 4 4 4 or 5 4 4 so you will see the dot here or point you can adjust it I will just move a little bit up make sure the curve so all this object match the curve with ring size so we can do manually like this or you can make a profile and doing same thing okay once you make a bottom I like to make a line here to revolve from surface to 3060 so once you do, do revolve the top and bottom is open so go to solid tool cap planar so it's becoming a solid shape blue difference click enter click so I cut inside
go to straight line create a straight line and adjust it and try to make a pipe 1.2 millimeter thickness so this is good for prongs once you test it go to rebuild curve give them a little bit more point and adjust the shape a little bit pipe again everything good go to top view rotate 45 degree and flurry four so we have a prong with a basket wire the basket wire looks like a little bit thin for this ring let me increase a little bit so on this scale 1.5 okay now it's better go to curve bottom curve extrude bullion difference cut bottom prong looks good now we have to set the stone on the shank so let's try all make two click this line go to jam click the jam on curve apply so we can use object and change stone size 1.5 millimeter and height will be Zero minus zero point three or even more three five. Go to side view, turn and match the location. Okay, this time I like to set just a little bit more than half. Distance between stones reduce zero point one five. Let me bring it down, okay, a little bit, enter. Click outside curve, offset, zero point three five millimeter inside and outside. So we have two lines created. Cre use the straight line, make an angle and the other one here so always give a little bit space here that space for the prong later cut one two three four and cut the other side enter and join them together from side profile side view so we see the gem here once you take up the part it has a little bit wider than stone like this click so it might be the parting part cutting part click gem and cutting part together and mirror the other side Bring difference, click, enter, cutting part, enter. So nicely cut the setting section. Click the stone, go to cutter, first one, apply. So select the style, make sure gutter scale is 100%, enter. 
Sorry to blue indifference cut after cut you have to check it work or not it works now we have to set the prongs prong setting apply to the gem okay 1.6 millimeter or 1.5 because 1.5 millimeter should be enough. Okay, here 30 percent or 25 percent, and the height 0.7 millimeter. So check everything. Good. Enter. Copy. Mirror the other side. Like this. Okay, looks good. Select old curve, move to the red layer, hide it. Select this prong, purple, move to the metal one. So I have all same layer. Click the save. Six point five millimeter ENG with stone on the shank. Once you save this file, go to mat material, select, and then color. Platinum, apply, select gem, go to gem section, diamond, apply, go to render, library, pick the background. Once you set the background, make sure the height of background is matching with this green. Just a little bit lower than object, that will give enough shadow for the render. Check the style and apply and click Blender. Save. Six point five millimeter. ENG with stone on the shank. Thank you for watching.